Hello you plonkers, this is part 2 of the Germany vlog. If you haven't seen part 1, go watch that then come watch this. Here we go. We have arrived in Frankfurt. Looks a lot like Brisbane to me. If I'm comparing Australian cities, I'd say Stuttgart was in Adelaide and this is a Brisbane. So, should be plenty of fun to get up to here. Staying right in the middle of the red light district apparently. So, I mean, I'm not that sort of guy, but if you were... You could go ham here. Let's see what Frankfurt has to offer. Right, we've been to Frankfurt. We've scooted about 20 minutes out of the city. We're now at Eintracht Frankfurt. But these German stadiums, Archibald, they don't want people walking around them. We've had to find a way in, and we have. We're not sure if we can be here, so this could be a little bit sus, but we have arrived at the home of Eintracht Frankfurt. We've made Archibald. When we rocked up on the scooters, I did not think we were gonna make it, but we're in. Oh, there's a little gym here and all. Here we are, Deutsche Bank Park, the home of Eintracht Frankfurt. There we go, Eintracht Frankfurt got a little training kit and they play Napoli tonight in the Champions League. They won the Europa League last night, so they're in the Champions League. Down 2-0 on aggregate. We're gonna go find a bar to watch that in. Eintracht Frankfurt ticked off the list, mate. Guten Tag, Thursday in Germany, Thursday. Uh, we've got a train an hour and a bit out of Frankfurt and we're just walking through some random ass village. Saw on uh, the internet that there's a place called the Rhine Valley and it's meant to be very nice. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a walk to get to, isn't it Archibald? What fucking is it? <laughs> Bless him. Covering mountains in the German countryside. Rhineland Valley is the destination today. Hopefully it's over one of these five hills somewhere. Here we are, we've made it to the top of this hill. Absolutely wonderful scenery. Ding dong, it's midday. Really had no expectations coming to this place. Didn't really know what to expect. Didn't expect to climb 100 hills to get here. But here we are. That's what traveling's all about, mate. There we go, we've gone to this castle. There's a restaurant. We've had a glass of wine. First proper glass of wine I've ever ordered anywhere. Uh, it turns out we're in the wrong place. <laughs> so no wonder we're going up hills, left, right and center. I have no idea where we're going, Archibald. But we're about to commence a trek all the way down here. All the way back over there where we started. Catch a train from there, back over to the place we originally intended to go. Let's see how we get on. Archibald, three hours later, we've made it to the place we initially <laughs> intended to go. But I'm not mad about it. Had a wine on a castle on a hill. Now here we are in the Rhine Valley. Archibald, wouldn't be Germany without sausages, mate. Let's go. All right, Plonkers, Friday. Germany. We've left the crack den, which is our part of Frankfurt. We're now in the Frankfurt main area. I've never encountered such a dodgy area in any city ever to where we're staying in Frankfurt. Genuinely seeing people selling and smoking crack on the streets. It's a madness. But today's our last day in Frankfurt before we head off to Cologne. It's a nice building. Look at it. Very nice, very cool. I'm gonna try to get closer because the camera's not doing that justice. Wow, look at that building, Archie. It's a very cool building, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Covered by a tram at the moment. Wow, side profile, look at that. Big long one. Here we are, about to board the train to Cologne. We've got our Dortmund tickets. Happy days. One day in Cologne and one day in Dortmund watching Borussia Dortmund in the yellow wall. Cannot wait. I find out here, Archibald. Big old cathedral, deeper, leaper. Look at this size of this pork knuckle. That's that weighs the same as my leg, Archibald. Look at the size of it. Oh my days. Look at the size of it, mate. Give it a bite. I want to hear the crunch, bruv. Ready? <laughs> this is one of the most insane things I've ever eaten. Ding dong, ding dong. It's three o'clock. Big cathedral in the background. I've finished off my pork knuckle. Just left a bit of the sauerkraut. Archibald, how'd you go? Too much. It was filling, wasn't it? Lots of fat, lots of crackle, lots of knuckle. It's literally like the lower leg of a pig. Oh, that's a tooth, and you got all the meat, all the calf. Big old feed. Oh, big horse, what's going on? Pork knuckle is currently digesting, feeling proper slow after that. We're about to scoot to FC Colm. This was a part of the Roman Empire, apparently, so we got some Roman architectural masterpieces, including this big castle. Bosh, big old castle next to some very colorful buildings. We are. Ryan Energy Stadion, the home of FC Colm. One FC Colm, I think they're called. 
and they're playing Borussia Dortmund tomorrow night at the game we're going to. So they're not here, they're probably in Dortmund. But let's go have a look at what this stadium has to offer. There it is, FC Köln Stadion. There we go, Archibald. FC Köln, mate. I've got a cheeky fridge magnet. So we've been to Munich, we've been to Stuttgart Stadium, Frankfurt, now Cologne, tomorrow night, Signal and Duna Park, uh, Borussia Dortmund as well. So five football stadiums ticked off this week, just about, if we get there. Let's see what it's like Friday night in Cologne on St. Patrick's Day. Now Saturday and we're back at this big old cathedral. Went to a nightclub under a highway last night in Cologne and it was quite good. It, it's just a standard nightclub, just reminded me of metros. Look at that train! That's why we're going to Dortmund, no no no! Got about an hour left in Cologne, then we're off to Dortmund. Here we are Archibald, we've made it to Dortmund. Second last day in Germany, he walked straight into a match day. Borussia Dortmund fans and Cologne fans will come up on the train everywhere drop off the bags we're gonna head straight to signal and duna park walk through dortmund very chill city probably should have filmed more but i didn't eh currently pulling up to signal and duna park if you want to watch this match day vlog separate vlog it'll already be out so go and watch that so match day scran big snag three euro fifty bit of a rip off but it's a german sausage here we go mm. right that tastes delicious mate Got the yellow ketchup and tomato sauce, Signal and Duna Park, having a sausage. Hell yeah, boy, let's go. Here we are, center of Dortmund, just went and watched Borussia Dortmund. One of the best atmospheres you'll ever experience at a sports game. Go watch that vlog if you haven't already. Police are out in force tonight in Dortmund. It's a Saturday night, but we're absolutely shattered. We're going to bed, then we're off to Dusseldorf tomorrow to head home to England. Hello, it is Sunday. We're leaving Dortmund. We literally only had Probably like 16 hours here. Watch the football and now we're off to Dusseldorf. I'd like to come back to Dortmund though. Seems like quite a nice city. Decent uh, nightlife on a Saturday it seemed when we're walking back from the game. But we're now off to Dusseldorf for the last leg of the journey. Well, we've made it to Dusseldorf. This place is absolutely popping. Look at this. Whoa, so many people to see. <laughs> this is the funny thing about traveling. You just don't know where the fuck you are or where the right places to go and see are sometimes. We're literally just trying to kill some time today in Dusseldorf before flying out. And no idea what this place has in store at all. Civilization Archibald, there's a big boat coming to pick us up. Just kidding, we are now in a normal place with people around. Here we have Dusseldorf, big bridge next to a big old tower like that. Thoughts on Dusseldorf? Go. Peaceful. It's not Compare Frankfurt. this to Frankfurt. <laughs> so turns out, Dusseldorf is the home of the unicycle uh, swag. Let's have a look. Do some tricks, bruv. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, there you go. Get up, son. Oh, not bad, not bad. There we go, Dusseldorf. The home of the swaggy unicycle. 550 plus kilometers across the west side of Germany. The journey is coming to an end. It's been good, it's been real good. Time to get back to pool, bro. One last hoorah, mate. Cheers to the adventure, bro. United on, flight's a few hours away. Last of many, many German pints. Fucking oath. Touchdown in Heathrow, officially back on English soil. Let's see if we can find this Peter Plonka. Hello! How are you? Are you alright? Back home. Match of the day is on. And the German adventures are over. Shouts to Pete. Picking me up from Heathrow. God's work, mate. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, you Plonkers.